Lord Flame probed with his senses. After a while, he explained to Maximus, This barrier prevents those below the late stage of the Piccoli realm from entering the pagoda. If you can unleash a power comparable to the late stage, you will be able to enter. That's it? Maximus wondered aloud. Yes, Lord Flame confirmed. Maximus's eyes lit up and his body flashed away. At this point, everyone noticed. The sacred silver fire is on the move, many in the crowd exclaimed. With all eyes on him, Maximus began to shout. Holy fire battle body, condense! Heavenly immortal physique, condense! Saint flame, heaven striking fist! An energy sphere that was comparable to the late stage of the peak holy realm burst out and collided with the barrier. A blood red halo instantly erupted from its surface. The blood red light that everyone had anticipated didn't appear. The attack passed through the barrier. Maximus's facial expression didn't change. Instead, he made the best use of his time to pass through the barrier. He went in! All the martial artists were dumbfounded. Previously, so many others had been killed by the barrier's light, yet it seemed Maximus had solved the riddle without so much as breaking a sweat. The eyes of a late stage Peak Holy Realm expert from outside the Saint Sect domain flashed. He unleashed his ultimate skill and easily penetrated the barrier as well. At this moment, everyone understood what was going on. The late stage Peak Holy Realm was the threshold for entry. Of course, those who were at the sixth level of the Peak Holy Realm and above were overjoyed. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Now that the situation was clear, a group of late Peak Holy Realm warriors proceeded with haste, launching attacks on the barrier and passing through to the pagoda. Boom. At this moment, a sea of lightning rushed over from afar. A powerful aura pressed down on everyone. <laughs> I knew it. This secret realm definitely isn't just about the blood red fruit, a high pitched voice announced. It was the black robed youth, who was standing atop a sea of lightning. His purple and yellow thunder battle armor was shining brightly. Some of the people with sophisticated knowledge of the continent immediately recognized this thunder battle armor. It's the profound thunder battle armor, exclaimed a young woman. Soon, the crowd began to panic. They knew this armor portended exceptional strength, and they were not willing to risk their lives for a chance to observe what the black-robed youth was going to do next. Get lost, the young man uttered, his confidence seemingly bolstered by the terrifying reaction of the crowd. For good measure, he shot his aura at some of the stragglers, who then gasped for breath. Although everyone was furious, the aura that the black-robed young man was exuding right now was not something they could resist. Even if the black-robed young man was a member of the Profound Thunder ancient race, they did not dare to say anything. Even some of the late-stage Peak Holy Realm martial artists that were about to charge into the barrier hurriedly retreated. It was only after the black-robed youth passed through the barrier that they dared to cautiously return. Meanwhile, Maximus, who was rushing toward the pagoda, couldn't help but frown when he sensed the powerful energy coming from behind him. This energy isn't weaker than the ninth level of the peak holy realm. Where did this expert come from? He mused to himself. Although Maximus was powerful, he was still unsophisticated about the aristocracy of the northern continent, so he could not guess the black-robed youth's identity. On the other hand, the youth recognized Maximus right away. After all, Maximus was the talk of the town these days. Lightning surged, and the black-robed youth's speed instantly soared. In just a few seconds, he had already rushed in front of Maximus, and now stood staring at him. Who are you? Maximus queried in a cold tone, his body stiffening. <laughs> you don't have the right to know yet, the black-robed youth shot back, in an arrogant tone. He took a deep breath, then immediately attacked. Sacred lightning, heavenly flash, he shouted. Luckily, Maximus had been on guard in this strange environment, so he did not panic. Facing the roaring lightning, he used the blue special flame to form nine lotus flowers and threw them at his opponent. In an instant, a sea of fire erupted and the sound of thunder could be heard. The powerful auras that gushed out 
caused the martial artists that were flying toward the battle from behind to lose their balance, and their faces were filled with shock. Too strong! If we get too close, we will definitely be affected, declared a late-stage Peak Holy Realm woman. Moreover, these two people are clearly just probing and haven't used their full strength. Once they use their full strength, I'm afraid we will be heavily injured, even if we block it with all our might, her companion observed. A third warrior advised, I have done some reconnaissance and see the pagoda has a total of 16 entrances. Let's find the one farthest from here. The group of Peak Holy Realm experts left the place where Maximus and the black-robed youth were fighting and continued flying toward the pagoda. Lightning flashed, and soon the sea of fire was suppressed. The black-robed youth curled his lips, then taunted. It seems that you are only so-so. I overestimated you. Since that's the case, you don't deserve to know my name. Go to hell. Lightning surged wildly at this moment. A destructive aura filled the space. Maximus's expression darkened. Then he mused. You attacked without saying anything. Quite rude. Now, you still want to kill me? Don't blame me for being ruthless. He went on to shout. Blue Special Flame, fuse! The Blue Special Flame merged with the Holy Fire Battle Body and the Heavenly Immortal Physique. The silver-white flaming armor looked majestic, with the pagoda as its backdrop. Maximus's momentum soared, and he was now no weaker than the black-robed youth. In fact, he was even more powerful. Sky-shattering fist, Maximus continued. The fourth stage of heaven-shattering fist was thrown out. The 36 stages of vibration were like waves crashing down. The lightning twisted and was forcefully shattered by the shaking power. The profound thunder armor on the black-robed youth also cracked at this moment. The youth began to retreat frantically. Once at a safe distance, he looked at Maximus with sparkling eyes. He grinned and admitted, I have underestimated you. Given your current momentum, I have to take you seriously. You have the right to know my name. I come from the profound Thunder Ancient Race. My name is Akira Damask. He paused for effect, then continued. Remember this name, for you will die today. Unless, of course, you beg for mercy. Akira had reasoned that he and Maximus were on the same level, and as a sign of respect for the strong, he wanted to offer a compromise. He would then, of course, propose that Maximus become his follower. Begging for mercy? I'm afraid you'll be the one begging for mercy later. Maximus shot back, grinning disdainfully. Akira smiled in turn, then casually mused. Looks like the Damask family has been lying low for too long and has been forgotten by some people. Although your aura is strong, you are clearly a bumpkin who has no idea how mighty the ancient families are. He took a deep breath, then screamed, Heavenly Thunder Extinguishing Spear! The lightning spear materialized and pointed at Maximus. Layers of vibrating force blasted out, but they were pierced through by the lightning spear. The unparalleled penetrating force caused the space to contract, then expand. Burning Heaven Sovereign Finger! Maximus quickly countered. The eighth level attack blasted out explosively. The huge flaming column and the lightning spear collided. Monstrous flames and violent lightning rampaged with a great momentum. Fortunately, neither Maximus nor Akira had any martial artists by their side. Otherwise, they would have been killed on the spot. The penetrating force of the lightning spear continued to assault the huge flaming column but the temperature of the column burned the lightning spear at the same time, causing the spear's power to weaken. Akira's expression became serious, and then he smiled before commenting. You have some skill. You are indeed much stronger than the Thunder Flame Saint. With your strength, you would not be considered weak among the core disciples of an ancient family. It's really hard to imagine that there would be such a powerful existence in the outside world. However... No time for musing. Soon, you'll be gone. He paused for effect, then screamed, Profound Thunder Sacred Slash! The moment the upper-class, upper-grade Holy Realm technique was unleashed, the air around the pagoda changed. 
the incomparably violent purple and yellow lightning transformed into a monstrous blade that slashed toward Maximus. Maximus' facial expression didn't change, however. He reactivated the Burning Heaven's Sovereign Finger, and a sea of fire roared into the sky. Out of it emerged a monumental column of flame. The thunder blade slashed down and embedded itself into the huge flaming column. It could no longer move, let alone slash at Maximus. The flames spread, and soon the thunder blade was surrounded by fire, forming an even more destructive weapon. The fire blade merged into the flaming giant column, and the combined attack headed straight for Akira. Akira's facial expression changed as he gasped. What? He had been training outside for quite some time, and never had a peak Holy Realm expert been able to withstand his profound thunder sacred slash. But today, that had changed. The lightning on Akira's body surged wildly. With a flash, he disappeared, then rematerialized several hundred yards away. The flaming giant column missed its target and landed on the pagoda in an instant. A blood-red beam of light burst out from the pagoda and shot into the sky, swallowing the column. Akira stared at Maximus and laughed crazily for a long time. His eyes were blazing hot as he mused. Good, good, good. Apart from the true disciples of an ancient family, I haven't met anyone as interesting as you in a long time. The previous ones were all appetizers. What's next is the main course. Maximus suddenly retracted his energy, ignoring Akira's ridiculous statements. Why aren't you attacking? Are you looking down on me? Akira challenged, his expression ugly. Maximus coldly harumphed. If you want to fight, find someone else. I want to enter the pagoda. I don't have time to waste with you here. There were a total of 16 entrances to the pagoda. Maximus had assessed the situation carefully. Once a martial artist entered the pagoda, one of the entrances would disappear. In other words, only 16 people could enter the structure. And currently, 10 entrances had disappeared. If the battle continued, all 16 entrances would surely be moot. Akira subconsciously glanced at the pagoda. His expression turned serious. Clearly, he had noticed the same phenomenon. After all, Akira wasn't an idiot. He quickly guessed the reason why the entrance had disappeared. He, too, now understood there was no time to continue bantering with Maximus. Before he left, he stated in a deep voice, When we leave the pagoda, you won't be able to avoid a fight with me. At that time... I will let you know my true strength as the number one true disciple of the Profound Thunder Ancient Family. Maximus rolled his eyes. Look forward to it, he stated coldly. Without saying anything more to Akira, Maximus unfolded his mysterious underworld heavenly wolf wings and rushed toward the nearest entrance at lightning speed. An expert at the sixth level of the Peak Holy Realm was heading for the same entrance. When he saw Maximus flying toward him, he became anxious. Those who could cultivate to the peak holy realm weren't fools. At this point, all of them understood that only 16 people were allowed to enter the pagoda. However, no matter how fast this person was, he couldn't be faster than Maximus. In the end, Maximus reached the entrance first. Akira let out a stern shout. Monstrous lightning surged out, startling the martial artist that was about to look for another entrance. She hurriedly dodged, otherwise she would have been killed by the lightning on the spot. By the time the martial artist reacted, Akira had already rushed into the entrance. The other martial artist let out an exasperated sigh. In a flash, Maximus appeared on the first floor of the pagoda. Before him, a blood-red plane spread out as far as the eye could see. Maximus raised his head and looked at the sky. It was the same red color as if there was no end to the same substance. He looked around, but he still did not see any signs of differentiation in the landscape. His primordial spirit power rushed out, and Maximus frowned. In this environment, his primordial spirit power was suppressed. It couldn't be separated from his body, so it was better to look far using eyesight. Maximus suddenly saw a part of the ground shake, and his eyes were fixed on the spot. The next moment, the ground was broken by a red monster. 
It was a leopard-shaped blood beast, and the aura it released was comparable to the peak holy realm. The blood beast saw Maximus and rushed over. Maximus pointed his finger out, and the force penetrated the creature's body, causing it to fall to the ground. A burst of red ensued, and the blood fiend gradually turned into nothingness. Only two things remained, floating in the distance. One was a blood core that was extremely similar to the sacred core in a holy realm expert's body, and it gave off a strong aura. The other was a gray stone that had an oddly intimidating aura. Maximus recognized this stone as the evil bloodstone. These two things didn't appear after the blood fiends outside were killed, he pondered. Could it be because this is the blood treasure pagoda? Lord Flame, take a look at these two things. He then sent the objects to the Nine Flames fire tower so that Lord Flame could study them. After a few minutes that felt like hours, Lord Flame commented, This blood nucleus should have the same effect as the blood fruit, but its energy is more condensed. It is enough to increase the strength of an early period peak Holy Realm warrior. Of course, the chaotic willpower contained in it is also much stronger.